go for through the looking glass. To the city records. Glassworks in Salvation Harbor, 19th Century Enterprises. Okay. Proprietor, go on to Randall. Address, Southern Salvation Harbor. Keep a road between Eel Street and Comshore Street. Randall Glassworks, Salvation Harbor, and Comshore. Glassworks. That's right around Carpenter's, old man Carpenter's place. Brutus. Randall Glassworks.
much. There's someone there. Give them to go basement first. Some sort of treatment solution. It must be what they use to turn glass panes into mirrors. Ooh. The FPS getting FPS drops. It looks like this workbench was used for making frames. Answers have been there since the last century. A human face. Hold up, I'll unlock the door. Okay. I guess you're the reason that beast in the basement went quiet. I don't know how to thank you, mister. Well, for a start, have you seen an old lady with a mirror around here? Huh. Old Bethany? Of course. She got locked in our storage downstairs when the beasts attacked. I got a spare key. Please let her out. And feel free to take any supplies you want. You saved our lives. All in a day's work. Thanks. Oh, okay. Actually, friendly people. Oh, this used to be an okay place to live. They hide. They hide underwater. In the pools. In the puddles. Can't be too careful. Or you? Yeah. Do all mirror makers look this shifty? Planar mirror. Who knew that so much planning went into mirrors? That some, like some gates too. Oh, nice work. It looks like the craftsman's gone out of business, though. Too bad. Maybe there's some kind of portal. Different dimension. Or if they can capture a soul or something like that. And the baby is in that mirror. Randall's diary. Never thought the city would surprise me. Frogmar did just that. Clearing the way for his preferred heir by getting rid of the other. The man honors the man honestly believes he did his son a favor by stuffing him in the mirror ways. Didn't want to kill him? As if that's any worse than what he did. Me? I'm just happy to share what I know. 
Good Francis wants wants to bring his son back. Hopefully he can oh find my God, Olivia. <laughs> Hopefully he can find the kid a new body to live in. I'm done with this wretched city. Time to move somewhere warmer. Oh boy. Search warned. Warned to enter the enter and search the premises of Randall Glassworks, Salvation Harbor. Investigate recurring complaints of suspicious activity at night. Interrogate the suspect. Go on to Randall. Hmm. Someone's been stocking up. Someone's been stocking up. His house? Randall's house? Hold on, Hammond. We're almost there. a thick book. Thick enough to be someone's life's work. Mirror ways. All evidence collected. Whew. Okay. Let's see if I can piece this together. These mirror ways are cold, alien and hostile environments that warp and defy the world they reflect. Souls and minds pass through them disembodied and should one be trapped there, they make for agonizing, inescapable prisons. To extract the trapped soul, a practitioner will need a valid repository for it, but be aware. Once the soul has been extracted, its prison seldom its prison seldom survives. Okay. Please depart me. All evidence. What? Siirrytä toiseen päivään kyllä tää. Mirror Maker's House. Davis Miles. Let the city last known location, Oakmont. Nor Northern Old Grove. Corner of Windhalf Avenue and Gold, Gold Bridge Road. Disrupting public order. Aversive behavior, counterfeiting. Okay. Mirror Maker's house. Old Grove. 
corner of Windhav and Gold Bridge. Go here. Mirror Maker's house. and all the news that's fit to print. Extra, extra. Okay, that's something big in here. Is the basement? Foot trap. Occult tome. A simple warding spell can be created through the application of sympathetic magic to establish an accord that affects an entity. One must find a similar entity that has a powerful bond with the other. I think Throgmerton might be in danger. His manner into a museum of vintage mirrors, collected over many decades. Hmm. Vintage, vintage mirrors. And the biggest mirror exhibition in the history of Oakmont, including Master Randall's finest creations. Okay then. The 
These have been here a while. Bachelor. Francis Throckmorton, the city's darling, scholar and adventurer, is once again a most eligible bachelor. The divorce court hearing took place this Tuesday. No press were allowed in the courtroom, but the results were made public immediately after the ruling. Bethany Throckmorton's deteriorating mental health was deemed a sufficient reason to, determine, to terminate the couple's marriage. There has been enough mourning, said Francis while exiting the courtroom. Our son, our son Hammond's death was a tragedy, but we must stay strong. It's a pity Bethany could not. Okay. Where does one find a miniature coffin like this? Gucci. Howdy. Go to the basement, I guess. Of course. Basement. When you fail at something, you should always remember to give up. Okay, what do we have here? I don't think it's a good idea that the wall is... That, or a good sign that the wall is pulsating. father proud that's a child's coffin life can be cruel that's it Can you hear the sound? I'm losing my sanity just standing next to it. Holy shit!
I didn't do it. Charles starts to do that when his sanity drops low at that. That's he started doing it since the manor of Blackwoods. What the? No, oh, my head. Ah, damn it! I can't. I can't. Let's go do the reconstruction. There. As long as this mirror stays whole, you will be safe, baby boy. Safe. While I find a way to free you. So there's something upstairs as well. These rights, they might buy me time. Downstairs to this basement. To the sub basement. I don't like the sound. Why ever? I will get you out, Hammond. There has to be a way. Time to piece this one together. The attic, then this, and then the small mirror. So much running. First he, she came here and found the books. Maybe it's first. The downstairs might be first. Then these this. rights, they might and buy me time. Mirror. Well, let's just try this. I think you might be wrong, but. I will get you out, Hammond. There has to be a way. Hammond. Hamston. There. As long as this mirror stays whole, you will be safe, baby boy. Safe while I find a way to free you. Oh, Bethany set up some sort of barrier to buy time while she tries to free Hammond. I could remove it by destroying her ritual mirror. I could remove it. She set a ritual with a hand mirror to keep up the spell. I must smash it to lift the barrier. Okay. Let's smash it. <laughs> it's harder than it looks. Oh shit. I don't know what I've done. Let's try and go to the mirror now. I think the sun might have turned into some kind of 
Oh, no, no, you can't have him. I won't let you. You can't take the mirror, you hear me? Bethany, calm down, please. I mean you no harm. No, you, you won't take my child. Not again. I won't let you. I just want to talk. It's okay. We can talk about this. I know the mirror's important to you. It's my son. My... my son. His soul. His very being trapped in the mirror. Cold, hungry, scared for decades. It's... Uh, okay, it's so hard to understand. His body is dead. But his soul is... Frozen in glass, unable to move on or return without help. Oh, Francis thought this was merciful, oh, the wretch. What's your plan? What do you mean to do then? I can call Hammond back into his own body. Don't judge me. This... This may seem unnatural, but, but, but we will be together. Everything is ready. I'm sure it will work. I only need to break the mirror to release him. I can't go back empty-handed. And I won't leave without my son. I want to let her do the ritual. I want to see what's com what comes out. You may keep it. Let's see what comes out. You with me? Oh. So not stream today, Kalle. Fine, you may keep it. Okay. Well, I guess you've got the right to try. Go ahead. I'll have to find some way to sweet-talk Robert. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you so much. Holy shit. Life can be cruel. Life can be cruel. Oh, thank you so much, newcomer. You made the right choice. Shards of the Mirror. Can't I open it? Life can be cruel. I wanna see. <laughs> really? Oh, thank you so much, newcomer. You made the right choice. They won't let me see it. Damn. Evidence? Hey. Here. Somebody's been doing their homework. Oh. Okay, <laughs> that's it.
people still mourning here. Cakes on the same day. What? They made a cake of him? A cake of the corpse? What the fuck? He kind of looks like a monkey as well. Oh, I've got I've got a lot of stuff to tell him. Harriet Doe will be coming. I found Harriet Doe, but but things did not go as planned. She didn't make it. What? I pay you to find someone and you come here hat in hand bleating that she didn't make it. She was our last chance to discover what is wrong with this city. What happened to her? She probably drowned. She went mad. I had to kill her. Let's go. I found the professor in the Order's underwater temple, but she didn't return with me. I'm afraid she'd handled the experience poorly. Her mind was gone by the time I arrived. She attacked me, and I had to defend myself, and... You do realize that you've killed one of the most brilliant minds in all of Oakmont. You understand that, yes? You weren't there, Mr. Throgmorton. All I know for sure is that brilliant mind was nowhere to be found. Oh, blast it all. Now I need to rearrange everything. Useless. Any other bad news? Oh boy, oh boy. I've got only bad news. I found the source of the madness. There's something ancient below this city. Ruins of some kind. They drive people insane. Or rather, what lies within does. <laughs> Not since. I expected better. I'm talking about the very ruins your people were sent to explore. Didn't end well, did it? You seem intent on ruling out rational explanations in favor of the inane. Believe me, there's nothing rational about this. That is for me to decide. Ruins. Hmm. Perhaps another expedition is in order. It will take some time to organize. As for you, I don't need your services on this case anymore, Mr. Reed. Here is your payment. Adjusted for your failure to retrieve Harriet, of course. So, more bad news. <laughs> the mirror is broken. I was too late. The mirror. I found it broken. What? No. How? How could this happen? Oh, my brother, my poor brother. I expected better from you, Mr. Reed. By gay, I did. No, oh, Drock, just go. Leave me to my ghosts. Oh, he also knew that his brother was inside the mirror. I'm not in the mood for chit-chat, Mr. Reed. So he would have tried to free him as well. If I would have known that, I would have brought the mirror to him. Because chances of Robert succeeding would have been a lot better, bigger than the Bethany. And Bethany's chances. I don't know if I like it. I think I might try the different ones. Nah, it's just a side mission. I'll let it be.
Did I get a new outfit? Not many to unlock anymore. Let's use the gangster. That was... Trizzle looking glass. 